Yusuf was now in prison with two other men. Unlike Prophet Yusuf السلام, who was innocent, they were criminals. One day, both men had a strange dream. They did not know what it meant, so they decided to ask Yusuf because from watching him, they knew that he was a righteous, knowledgeable man. They approached him and asked whether he could tell them what their dreams meant. Huh? Uh, hmm? Hmm. One of the men began explaining his dream to Yusuf. He said, In my dream, I saw myself pressing grapes to make wine. Hmm. Then the other man spoke and explained his dream. He said, I saw myself holding bread on top of my head and birds were eating from it. Yusuf listened to the men explaining their dreams but decided that he would not tell them what they meant right away. He wanted them to learn about Allah first and use the opportunity whilst he had their attention. He told them that he knew what their dreams meant because Allah had blessed him with the ability to interpret dreams. He then explained to them that he worshipped one God, just like his father Yaqub, grandfather Ishaq, and great-grandfather Ibrahim, unlike some people in Egypt who worshipped many gods. Huh? Uh, huh? Ah. The men listened but were still very eager to know what their dreams meant. So Yusuf assured them that he would explain the meanings before their food arrived. While they were waiting for food, Yusuf asked them a question to make them think. He said, Are many gods better? Or Allah, the one, the most powerful? While they were left in thought, Yusuf continued explaining that the gods they worshipped were only names that people had invented and had no power. Instead, everyone is commanded to worship one god, Allah alone. This is true faith, but most people do not know. After calling them to worship one God, Allah alone, he began to tell them the meaning of their dreams. He told the first man that his dream about pressing grapes to make wine meant that he was going to be a servant to the king and pour wine for him. Then Yusuf explained the second man's dream about carrying bread on his head with birds eating from it. He told him that his dream meant that he will be crucified and the birds will eat from his head. Their dreams revealed to them their fate. This is what would happen to them once they were judged for their crimes. Yusuf asked the man whose fate was to live and serve the king not to forget him. Yusuf hoped the king would find out why he was there and release him from prison. Huh? Ah. The time came for the two men's cases to be heard. The judgment for their crimes were exactly as Yusuf said. Was this the chance Yusuf was waiting for? The man who was free could now speak to the king directly. Sadly though, it did not happen this way. Shaitan made the man forget about Yusuf. And so, Yusuf was still stuck in prison with no way out. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm.